It's safe to say that 2020 was not the year that any of us were expecting. The global pandemic brought tragedy to many, racial injustice was brought to the attention of many Americans, and an election that has divided the United States more than I have ever witnessed in my lifetime. I understand that I have had it easier in 2020 than many, and I am incredibly grateful for that, and I don't want to deny what some have gone through. And in terms of the enthusiast community, I have also been better off than others. My name is Drew, and today I'd like to talk about my experience with 2020 as an enthusiast. Not too much to say here. This was when I had a girlfriend and life was fine. No quarantine, no masks, just life as normal with some talk of a virus going around in China. I thought it was no big deal. <laughs> I remember watching videos about the most anticipated coasters of 2020 and hoping to add to my credit list. Starting off the year, I only had 33 coasters. The year before, I had added 13 new credits at SeaWorld Orlando, Busch Gardens Tampa, and Frontier City. In 2020, I was hoping to surpass the 13 new credits that I had received in 2019. I knew that there were still many parks that I wanted to go to in the United States alone, let alone other countries, as well as get back to Busch Gardens Tampa to get the other credits that I missed due to weather. And maybe, while I was there, visit the Universal and Fun Spots to get even more credits. I broke up with my girlfriend. Sometime in January or February, I got season passes to my home park, Silver Dollar City. I was expecting it to be like any other year. No parks visited, no plans to visit any parks, just a desire. But during January and February, most parks are closed anyway, so I don't have much of an expectation. The world is broken. This was when the pandemic really hit and all the parks started closing. No one knew what was going on and when life would get back to normal. Everyone believed that life would be weird for a month or two and then everything would return to normal. I was still in my senior year of high school at this point. We were dismissed for spring break and I just suspected that spring break would get extended by a week or two. Nothing much. I had no idea that school would be cancelled for the rest of the year. I remember the exact moment of when I found out. I worked at a pharmacy as a delivery driver and I was at a retirement home making a delivery when I overheard the receptionist talking about how schools were cancelled for the rest of the year. Let me know in the comments if you had the same experience. I didn't live through 9-11, but this is the closest I can get to the sudden feeling of shock many describe with that tragedy. But in terms of parks, basically all of them shut down. Many of them had dates that they planned to reopen that aligned with what the authorities were predicting, but those all got pushed back. All my new credit aspirations were postponed. Still in quarantine. No one really knows what is happening. I was doing my online classes that were a breeze. I finish up with my online classes with easy finals. My trigonometry final was only worth 30 points and all the answers were A. So yeah, pretty easy. At this point, I still have not visited any parks. I graduate. And yes, I did graduate in June. At least, where I live in Kansas, there seemed to be a bubble of normalcy. I got to go have an in-person graduation, as well as attend graduation parties, and see people in person that I had not seen in what feels like forever. Kansas was in the phase-out part of the COVID plan, only to later phase back in. If I remember right, some parks were starting to reopen in June and July. I still have not ridden any roller coasters. The closest thing I can get is a bump in the road that delivered some pretty decent airtime. Now that the parks are reopening, I began planning a trip to somewhat celebrate my graduation. I say somewhat because it wasn't just because of my graduation, but kind of. Finally, I get to ride a roller coaster. The first theme park that I visited in 2020 was Silver Dollar City on August 4th. But that is not the only theme park I went to in August. The trip that I was planning came to fruition. On August 26th, I left Kansas and made my way to Nashville with my sister. 
we spent the 27th exploring Nashville. It was super fun to see, but there weren't a lot of things to do with the pandemic. So after some exploring, we made our way to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We spent the next two days at Dollywood, and this was my first time at the park, and I thought it was phenomenal. The first new coaster of 2020 was Blazing Fury, and over the course of those two days, I was able to ride all nine coasters in the park, including the Kitty Coaster. Whistlepunk Chaser with a weird conversation with the ride operator. Technically, we weren't supposed to be able to ride it by ourselves because we were too old, but we did. On top of the coasters, we saw several of the shows and had a full two days at the park. It was my first time there, but it will not be my last. August 30th, we spent the day at Kentucky Kingdom for Keys to the Kingdom. On top of getting to ride all six coasters for the first time, I got to experience a YouTuber Q&A, extended ride time, exclusive food, and restricted access. This event was what sparked the road trip, and it was absolutely worth it. The 31st was then a travel day. Another trip to Silver Dollar City. This was part of the road trip. It just happened to fall on September 1st. This was the second time that I rode Mystic River Falls. The first time was in my trip in August. By this point in the trip, we were both exhausted, so after our day at Silver Dollar City, we went home. It was also in September that I started my YouTube channel. Whoop whoop! Another trip to Silver Dollar City, but this time, I went for Pumpkin Nights. This is their family-friendly Halloween event, but it's not technically a Halloween event. There's no trick-or-treating or costumes, so the event is great for everyone, including the conservative Christian families that don't celebrate Halloween. The biggest draw of this event is that all the parved pumpkins and pumpkin sculptures. I did make a trip to Missouri, but it was to spend Thanksgiving with my family. No trip to Silver Dollar City or any other parks. One last trip to Silver Dollar City on the 3rd. This was my first theme park visit by myself. Before this, I had always gone with someone else. I went to go look at all the Christmas lights. Almost all of the rides in the park were closed due to weather anyways. The only coasters I were able to ride were Thunderation and Outlaw Run. But the trip wasn't all a waste. I was able to watch just about all the shows at the park and enjoy all the Christmas lights. And that wraps up my experience in 2020. I was able to get 15 new credits and visit three different parks. The total number of coasters that I rode were 21. Considering the circumstances in 2020, I'm pretty lucky to have visited that many. I know that there are certain parks in certain states that haven't reopened at all. I also understand that my life in 2020 has been much easier than many, and I want to acknowledge the people who have lost significantly more than I have. I truly feel for you. And with all that said, let's hope 2021 is better. Feel free to let me know how 2020 has been for you. And as always, thank you for watching. God bless.